Don't be mean, don't be mean. See little twin stars, then you'll be little twin star t-shirt, little twin star t-shirt. Wee. Anyway, people who are rude and judgmental, get off my channel. Goodbye. And people who don't think I'm from the FLDS, goodbye. And your opinion means nothing to me. Because if I wasn't from there, why would I have pictures? And I just did my hair, remember, and I'm going to take out my braids. And I just want to show you guys how my hair looks really curly. And you can achieve this look by braiding your hair and leave it in, in for anywhere from like 3 to 5 hours. Or I left my braids in for a whole day. And I'm going to take them out and I highlighted my hair. And yes, and I still write letters to him. And he has written me back, but I'm not going to show you guys that. And if you do want to watch any uh, FLDS, Winston Blackmore, or Uncle Warren Jeff's videos, you can scroll down to videos, and any videos titled FLDS, or Winston Blackmore, or Warren Jeff's, those videos I talk about my life and upbringing and being in the United Order, which my family was secondary to the United Order. It wasn't like number one. Like, uh, let's see the other last name, this family. Um, um, uh, what is it called? Hold on. I'm trying to think. In Hilldale, Utah, Colorado City, Arizona. You had, um, it was a Jeff's regime that came in the late 80s, which, you know, I'm going to get into it. You want to watch videos like that on my channel, just look for those titles. So, I'm not going to keep explaining myself. It's ridiculous. And your opinion means nothing. And I do love the age regression lifestyle and ABDL lifestyle. And I love little space. And I have a lot of trauma from my upbringing and abuse in school and trauma. And cousins and family now need to get into it. And if you don't want to hear it, then goodbye and get off my channel and don't watch me then. Because there's other people that will watch me who do like me who are not judgmental, rude, or arrogant, or prejudiced, or sexist, or transphobic, or arrogant, closed-minded, and whatever. And people think, uh, also, uh, I'm not a girl and I am a girl and I don't need to prove nothing to you. You're not having sex with me, you're not fucking me, and yeah, I don't need to lie. So whatever. So yeah. Whoa, this is like spirally. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is... Woo! Oh my goodness. But anyway, I love doing age aggression. I love doing little space stuff. And I suffer from a lot of mental health abuse and trauma. And thank God for SRS medication. Wee! Oh my God. Actually, I kind of... No, well, I don't really like it. <laughs> Oh, it kind of looks like I got a perm, but if I had a perm, my hair would have snapped off from all these highlights. Oh my gosh, look at that. That was like super tight curls. Oh my god. It's actually kind of pretty, actually. It's like, wow. And now, if I brush this out, it's going to be a big poof. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Um, how was everyone's day? How are you doing? Hope you're doing good. Happy 100 and... 27 subscribers or 130 subscribers? I don't remember, but you guys never want, like, why don't you guys want to talk to me and go live? Like, <laughs> you watch my lives and thumbs them up, which I appreciate and thank you, but I was really hoping to, like, have friends and acknowledge you guys and acknowledge me and, like, let's ask questions and how many of you into age regression? How many of you into little space? Write some comments, guys. I have so many subscribers. I mean, and I'm just amazed. I'm not complaining. I just think it's funny. I get three or four thumbs up out of 126 subscribers. I think it's kind of funny. I'm not complaining, but I always wonder if you watch me and you like my channel and you like my content, please thumbs up the video and write some comments without being mean, of course, or rude. And people that think, oh, your lifestyle is an abomination. Bitch, your face is a fucking abomination and a lifestyle. And if you don't like it, then don't watch me. Duh. So, like, don't be rude and judgmental. Like, I hate people like that. It's like, you ain't God. It's not your place. You're not Prophet Warren Jeff. You're not God. You're not the Virgin Mary. You're not Moses. You're not a saint. You're not even a witch, bitch. Like, stop it. <laughs> Maybe I am a baby witch. But don't be mean. I don't like that shit. It's disgusting. 
I don't be mean to you. I don't even know you from a fucking hole in the head. Don't be mean, please. It's just really ugly and disgusting, and it causes wrinkles. And you always have enough of that. Woo! Check out the curls! Oh my god, I actually like it. It's kind of sexy. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Warren would love this. Woo! Yeah. A little bit of Bible study. Woo! Well... I actually like it. <laughs> There's the back of it. Actually, my hair looks, well, it looks shorter, obviously, because of the curls. But if I, sh well, yeah, because of the curls, but. Whew, that'd be nice on my wedding night. Do my hair like this, yeah, like, at least a couple hours, but, well, I left it in overnight, but yeah, it's really, wow. Well, it just looks really short because it's like my hair, this is like tight spiral. It goes like it's really spirally. <sighs> but it's not bad. But how is everyone doing? I hope your day's great. Oh. Yeah, wow, my hair is ooh, spirally, darling. Ooh, I actually like it. It's kind of sexy. I don't know why, but I just think it's sexy. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, in EFLDS, we would take our hair like this. I've done videos on it, so I don't know why I'm fucking repeating myself, but ugh, people want to be idiots and be rude and judge me. You guys can go kick rocks and go fall off a bridge. Who want to be judgmental? If I didn't wasn't part of the community, I wouldn't know what the United Water is or anything else. Well, I'm not part of it, so you know, I, gotta, I, I gotta put more volume in here like this. And then take it, well, I would take more of my hair up here, and then do a little poof up here, and like tease it, which I'm not going to tease my hair now. It would be one big poof, and we go like this, see? My hair is so straight, well, up here it's straight, but up here would have to, I would have to like tease it, and like poof it up more up here, and do one big braid, but like I have a part now, so my hair is like, <sighs> it's not going to stay. <laughs> but you get the jits, I would tease the front really good. Poof it up and do one long big braid in the back of my hair. We don't cut our hair in our religion anyway. Um, we believe that, you know, when we go to heaven, we wash our husband's feet with our long hair. And it's just a sign of like feminine girliness and traditional gender roles like the 1950s. And that's just the life I like to live and how I became who I am and why I like it. And a lot of the women in that lifestyle community love long hair, femininity, and we don't cut it. And, I mean, we're not supposed to color it either, but at least my hair's so long. I mean, I'm not naturally this light. I'm kind of like a light golden brown, dark blonde, dirty blonde, whatever you want to call it. Like, the color of my eyebrows. If you look, my eyebrows are like a darker blonde. See? They're like, they're not brown, but they're like a darker blonde or, yeah, dark, dirty blonde. That's called my hair naturally. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm a blonde, but I'm not like this blonde. I'm like a light golden brown, dark blonde. So, anyway, <laughs> little twin stars, <laughs> little twin stars. I hope you guys like my video with my daddy slash stinky slash papa slash caregiver. I mean, he's not as good as Warren Jeffs, but whatever. And he read me Winnie the Pooh and if you guys want me to do more videos like that, thumbs up that video. I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. And yeah, um, I do a lot of age regression, little space. Uh, I live the ABDL lifestyle. I use my nappies. I pee and poop in them sometimes. Um, I do live the lifestyle. I am still kind of in that community. I had pictures. Obviously, I proved it. And the ones who don't think otherwise, you know what to do. And I don't care, and your approval don't mean nothing to me. Because I don't really care, and I just thought it was funny that a person left that comment. They're like, oh, you're an abomination, or your lifestyle's an abomination. Bitch, your face is an abomination, so is your ugly, disgusting personality that no surgery in the world can fix. So, yes, and who cares? And little do they know, but 
Warren loved, uh, you know, his sister wives and daughters to look young, pretty, full, and feminine. Nah, not like some ugly feminist fucking, like, crap the world we live in today, that's all I'm gonna say. With those half-shaved heads and yoga pants and t-shirts wearing type of chicks and looking like God knows what. And at least in our community, women are beautiful and feminine and look gorgeous and the men look manly, domineering, and handsome and they have a job and a career and take care of their women. And the women stay home and cook and clean and submit to the husband. Even in, even in the bedroom, even if you're on your period, you still gotta give it up to the husband because the man is the head of the home as the wife is to submit to her husband like Christ submits to the church. Amen to that, sister.